Hey everyone, Carla here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are cash stuffing our very first paycheck for the month of June. I cannot believe it's June. It's like the sixth or the halfway point of the year. So hopefully you guys are doing great with your budgets. We are getting five paychecks this month, which is great. I think we're going to make like the paycheck before Mia's birthday, the free bonus paycheck, just so we can throw in extra for her birthday since we haven't been doing sinking funds since this year, I believe, or a little bit of last year, but we have stopped doing that. So I am taking my budget more seriously and I'm making a plan to when I start you know really going hard on these debts so it'll be like how it used to be i think i'm getting my head back into the game and i'm watching a whole lot of budgeters and it's really really motivating to watch my favorite right now is trang i'll put her videos down below she really motivates me i also have been watching a little bit of emily's video and also maria so i'm gonna put those down below and those just really help me keep my head into the budget and i think that's what helps when you feel like you don't want to budget anymore it's just watch other budgeters i've also been revisiting some of my old budgeting videos and just kind of remind myself of the goal then so i'm hoping that this will be like the little comeback and i'm just i'm just excited for it because for a little bit there i feel like i was like on autopilot when it comes to budgeting and you know i'm still not gonna be able to do like budget with me check-ins and all of that until we move in which is gonna be like in october when we remove or i guess move somewhere because our budget is honestly really really tight right now and we're just kind of surviving at this point we don't have i don't have a plan i'm trying to grasp it but it's just not really quite there yet so let me put the money in here while i talk to you guys about it i wanted to show you guys like what the breakdown looks like i always still really do love using my cash breakdown card so i do the zero based budget which means i empty out everything in our you know debit card whenever our paycheck lands so that usually happens on thursdays and we do the zero based budget we empty every every dollar has a spot so this is how i do it right here so i'm allocating 633 because those are our bills that is in cash so that's how i do it i just do hundreds and then i kind of like you can kind of see it there and then i put the increments in here and then the total right here and honestly we just go to the teller to the drive through and we just hand this to the teller and they already know what to do it's a lot easier and it kind of helps when you don't like talking to people because it helps with us because you know we don't really like talking too much honestly so we just hand this to them and they already get it and a lot of them actually really like this method and i do have this in my shop i have this one and i have one more of the sailor moon or sailor scout design i am going to add more patterns like i plan to add my strawberry pattern for the next round of orders but i still do have a lot of this green floral one so if you guys are interested it is on my shop so i have that and then they just give us this money with everything in it it's just really really easy for us but as i was saying we're not really gonna do a lot of budgeting like it used to be before right now i do plan to do that in october so keep an eye out in october it's gonna be my full on budget and i think i'm gonna show you guys how much we owe on everything every single dollar <laughs> that we owe i think that would be just a good um head start for us and just motivation to just pay it off and all of that and also i'm gonna be able to share with you guys the new budget including the new rent how much we need for certain things and yeah i think it'll just be a great start for us and i think for my budgeting kits, I am still going to make new budgeting kits every month, even next year. Because you know how I said I wasn't going to because there's not enough time. I think I'm going to keep the ones that I have this year in stock all the time. Those are like my base ones. And then when I feel like it, I'll make patterns for the next month. Because sometimes I do get bored of the patterns. So I'll, you know, have different patterns still available every month if you guys want a different one. But I'll have the ones I have this year. Just kind of like a backup or whatever. But that's just what I'm thinking. And this is our... This is what I do with my calendar for right now. My budget calendar. So I only use two pages for right now. Um, 
So I already did, did the June budget and how much we made right here. This is P1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have 5 paychecks here and we still do the budgeted and the actual. And then here we have our different increments. So I know. So this up here without the checks totals to 633 and then the rest goes into the card. We had 181 extra this week from the paycheck. So that went into like a little savings that we have. And then we're gonna see how much we can throw into debt at the end of the month. That's just how I've been doing it lately. Like I said, we've been on survival mode. Sometimes we have to use that extra for something that comes up or especially with my husband's gas right now because he didn't get reimbursed for last month because they did something wrong with it so hopefully they you know keep that whatever they owed us last month and then plus this month but i'm just keeping this over there just in case that they don't but i'm definitely going to ask about that i did ask my husband he said it should be accounted for the last week and or the last month and this month so we are gonna see and then these are just our you know, regular food, my allowance, his allowance, and then credit card payment goes into the debit card, which we pay about 150 every week for debit card. And I know it's a lot, or credit card. It's a lot, because we owe a lot, I told you guys. So I haven't even really disclosed that with you guys quite yet. So I'm hoping that here soon we can, so we can be like all up and honest with you guys it's just it's kind of nerve-wracking sharing your budget and also what you owe and then showing like what you spend your money on it's scary doing that and if you're a budgeter here on youtube you know what i'm talking about all right enough with the blabbering i do miss the blabbering parts of budgeting so it's just gonna be what it is sometimes i blabber some cash stuffings i don't but as you can see all of the envelopes are empty now since we paid off all of the bills from last month including rent so we are gonna restart this and we're gonna do rent first which is gonna be 370 and i'm still even though we get five paychecks let me mention this real quick even though we're getting five pay paychecks i'm still dividing our paychecks into four so we have a bonus paycheck even though we still probably have to pay for food that week for our allowances that week that's still a staple every week but the rest is going to be divided into four so we'll have some extra money to hopefully throw into debt and also to cover for my baby's third birthday because she is turning three i was so excited i have a three-year-old and she is thriving guys she's saying so many words she's doing so much and i'm just so so happy and excited for her and i think here soon we are gonna start hearing like you know being able to communicate with her because she was non-verbal for a little bit there and it was making me nervous but now you know she was she's fine she's a late bloomer but she definitely blooms so much and i'm so excited for her like you know mulan like when the dad says the flower is a late bloomer but when it blooms it will be the most beautiful one of all and i think that's gonna be her she is beautiful so <laughs> I'm just a proud mama, let me share. Um, but yes, rent is getting 370. Got 300 here, 50, and 70. Um, so we have one, two, 300, 50, and 70. And that's just gonna go into rent. So we're gonna start out this month. Even on the last, for example, yeah. Even on the last paycheck that we have to, because the last time we have to pay for this ridiculous amount of rent it's technically august but in september i'm still gonna save up 370 a week even though we technically don't have to because we don't have to pay for the next month i'm still gonna because we do have a down payment at the next place like it's gonna be first month's and last month's rent so it's gonna be sixteen hundred dollars when we move in so i'm gonna go ahead and save up this and then save up whatever i can for that month to move in they don't say that we need to pay for it right away because it is my friend's dad so we don't have to pay it right away but i do want to pay most of it like most of the money so if we pay them 1500 we'll just owe them a hundred i hope i can you know i i hope you guys understand what i'm saying because i feel like i'm just confusing you at this point car is getting 50 because we do 200 every month for car and then electric is getting 35. Okay, we have 20, 30, and 5 for this. 
and I wanted to do check-ins again I know I've been saying this but I think I'm gonna be able to do it again in October like my old content's gonna be back in October I feel like or maybe November because we probably have to like settle down but I'm definitely aiming to do that Wi-Fi is getting 18 18 I've been looking at a lot of crock pot meals and I think I'm gonna try one tomorrow because today we're gonna go to Riggies but tomorrow we can try to do the crock pot thingy if it turns out good I'm definitely gonna always try to do crock pot meals and I told my husband my best friend is gonna be this crock pot I'm gonna try to like really work on making food at home because our where we're moving at is like in the middle of nowhere and it's hard to get to places so i have to make the meals that I, we like and i told my husband the more elegant cooking like like baking and like frying things making fajitas that's gonna be his area and i'm just gonna be with the crock pot so that's gonna be our plan so here we have 10 15 16 17 and 18 for wi-fi and that's gonna be and for this, insurance is getting 32. Okay, so we have 20, 31, and 2 for insurance. And I just have my, my binders into bills because the bills do get really thick. And I just want to show you guys the breakdown of bills just in case you guys are curious. Um, and also we don't have any sinking funds anyway, so it kind of helps with, you know, the video. Alright, phone or my phone gets $27. But I do eventually want to start with at least one challenge, maybe a $10 challenge again. Because it really did help when we needed it. And also it could help with paying down more debt. And $10 isn't too bad. And I might make it into like 50 so 500 um and then we could just use that money to pay off things because it really does help because it's kind of mindless putting money in there but ten dollars shouldn't be too heavy on our budget here we have 25 6 and 7 for my phone just here and then we have my husband's phone which is getting 20. i am gonna sell a lot of my stuff and i have been selling them on mercari um, a lot of my things that I don't really use. Subscriptions gets $6. So if you guys are interested, I am going to link my Mercari down below. Only if you're interested on buying stuff from me that I own. Gas is getting $55. There's not a lot there yet, but I'm slowly piling them together and take pictures of them. And I'm also going to do a little garage, like a, what is that called? Garage sale? For some of my stuff. Gas is getting 55. And then last but not the least is diaper. This is the one. And that is it guys. That is the entirety of this cash stuffing. I will tell you I am getting more and more into it. I'm getting more passionate about budgeting again. Which is important. Because I feel like you guys can tell. That I did lose it there for a little bit. And you know I'm, I'm still going to be looking at things that i want i'll still you know spend money but i'll definitely keep myself in check and i have been i've only been using my allowance for things and i definitely don't overspend on that department anymore unless it's like beauty because i don't have a beauty stuff like today i had to buy a like panty liner too much information i know but it's for women and then i also had to buy something for my skin so that was unbudgeted because I didn't budget for that and I'm not going to use my allowance since I already used my allowance for this perfume that I got, which was 30 bucks. So that went to unbudgeted because I don't have a beauty sinking funds. I will bring back the sinking funds when I can. Hopefully by next year we can start doing that. But I just want to like plan out everything this year and not really stretch out our budget too much with sinking funds. So for this year, it'll be rough. And for Christmas, I'm going to make most of my gifts for people. I have been doing that already. And it's been really well. And my, my sister and my, my mother-in-law have loved their Mother's Day gift. So I think you just got to make it. 
and yeah i think we'll, we're gonna be all right this year so i hope you guys enjoy this video and this chatty video and i hope i get to see you on my next one bye